Correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be completely off base, but when episode two rolled around and Keller Brimbor released his plans for making a mighty forge, that that was this, right? This thing. And then the yeah. next episode, they kind of showed him building it. Uh, and that's why he needed the help of the dwarves. And that's why he, you know, he had all these huge industrial scale plans, right? Right. Am I, is, is that the impression you got? Yeah, yeah, and when, I, I, and then, I, then I the follows, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then, then in the next episode, I, I actually made a point, like, why are they already halfway done constructing this enormous tower? Because it seems like only a few days had passed, and it's like halfway completed. Remember right. that? Yeah, I do. I absolutely do. You do? Okay, so, here it is, episode eight, and I thought we were going to get this in, giant industrial forge, and what the <laughs> f*** is this? But aren't they still in Celebrimbor's workshop like they never left like what happened to this idea of building this mighty forge see that little flame <laughs> yeah I know well that's you know, to light the fire of the, but the, the it's, it's like that's what we get <laughs> this little little oil can with a little 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 flame on it that's the, the 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 forging of the rings was done in a montage in about four minutes with Again. like very minor like oh what's this i have a look on the table a magnifying glass and a little <laughs> little like oil can uh, honestly man i felt gypped. i think i felt gypped. i think i said this before like they should have had like a five minute montage kill a brimbor and 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 and, and hal brand with their shirts off you know like trying to figure this out you're the best around <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, but do you share my like? I, I do, I'm but a... but but why you're saying this whole thing? I was a little confused. That's all. Okay, here's a confusion too. When did they find out that the uh, elves were 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 fading? That was like episode three or four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds about right. Why is he building this forge? You, you know what I'm talking about? It's like... We got the, but, the notice but, like, that he was building the forge came before we found out that the elves were fading. Right, right. So why is he then building this forge? You know what I'm talking about? So in this episode two, he discusses plans for his forge. And he says he wants more power. Like No, I, rem I remember that. But like... What did he have in mind for more power? You know what I'm talking about? Was he like forging weapons? Was he, you know, like, did they know about Mithril? I mean, did they know about any of this stuff? You know, that's I mean, a good this question. Like, I don't know. It's not pretty much good. Again. Yeah, this is like one of those details yeah. that, did, like, they should have been like, the, like the need of the forging of the rings of power should have been the impetus behind building the forge and not the other way around you know what i'm talking about it's like so wait the the, the need to sustain their life right should, should have, have been right that that's a good that's a good point that should have been established first and then yeah. they're like what do we do what do we do but it was like they they brought that up the have, idea that, that they were going to forge these you know forge something new, of power but it wasn't yeah. rings it, it was prompted by a discussion where uh, elrond was holding the the hammer that fanor used to craft the silmarils and Celebrimbor was like, oh, he did this amazing thing crafting the Sumerals. What have I done? I haven't done anything. So he wanted some, it didn't really matter what it seemed like. He wanted just some high level achievement, but he, but therefore he was going to build this huge furnace or forge to build th something. But what, what I'm saying is like from, from a writing standpoint, from a, it, it should have been established from the outset, the episode one. Oh my God! Here's these leaves. They're 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 turning mm. black. We don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then Killer Brimbor was like, you know, maybe we could forge something that will ward off, you know, like like yeah. the, this. I mean, that that actually brings up a good point. Like, you know how they say at right in writing 101, like show don't say or show yeah. don't tell kind of thing. Like other than the leaf getting you know some kind of rot um and None of the elves, like, milking milking a, a cow udder 
that had blackness coming from it. Like, there was never any clear evidence of what uh, dire emergency beset the elves. Like, what was it that the elves were confronting? What were they faced with? They needed to show, like, elves just kind of turning to dust or wasting away. Like, or, like you're talking to Elrond something. and all of a sudden he's a pile of, he's like a pile of dead skin cells or something. Like, something scary to or like if something something the, where it shows the breakdown of the L like something's happening like they're yeah, fading something they're, scary like, so there, so there's a little bit more urgency like yeah, there was never or, a sense or, yeah. of urgency because it was like oh hey this uh, signals that there's bad times in store for elves if we don't get our act together and get some some silver that we okay, can rub so, on, that we can rub on ourselves some some yeah, mithril soap that surround ourselves with mithril yeah, but here's the thing. But this get, begs so we need a to question. Go score some, we need to go score some meth, right. real. But but this begs a question. Not a bad idea, right? Mm, uh, no, you know, to, no. to show, but shitty execution. Wait, wait. The, right. The the idea of what? The idea. The that, idea. The idea that the yells are fading, and that's that not it's a bad like, idea. That's it's not true. a bad idea. Yeah. But the execution of 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 the solution mm. was was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole thing. They, I mean, they, they're trying to be way too clever and, and cryptic, right? Yeah. With the show, when it doesn't need to be. First, it was like, oh, as as long as we can kind of like be near Mithril, it will it will so solve our problems. Okay. Let, let me right. let's trace let's trace the logic here. Why did they need to get in, get in touch with the dwarves in the first place? When Elrond was sent to uh, Kazadum. Um, it, it was like I I have the Calibrimbor is like I have these great plans right, to build right. this forge, and I need something from the dwarves. They well, they needed the dwarf labor, right? I mean, they needed the that's dwarf what I thought. Know. Like they needed help. To, they needed help. They yeah. needed dwarf and help to build this thing, right? And then somehow this is again this is terrible writing, like magically the in going to get dwarf labor they found that the dwarves actually have the one thing on earth that can keep them alive methril <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean that in itself and then the methril they they wish they could have lots of it but then they realize oh they could only have a little chunk of it if and this is this is what we learned in episode 8 that little chunk could go a long way to help the elves if they somehow craft a device that like a self-perpetuating device that amplifies the power of the mithril mithril right. i'll just call it mithril yeah right and then they said this um keller Brimber said probably getting some of this information this science from sour on himself but he was talking to gil galad and he was saying um they need to make it a circle at first they thought it would be a crown the circle would allow the light to arc back upon itself in one unbroken round building to a power that is unbounded hmm. and did you remember that that line from oh yeah i remember yeah. that I'm, I'm, but, I'm trying to like but i'm like does light that behave out. that way uh, i mean if there's if there's light let's say there's light coming there's light in Meth mithril there's light there's light of the of Valinor in Methril, inherent in Methril. Yeah, you put it yeah. in a circle, and does the light zoom around and get faster and faster and like build? Like uh, maybe, maybe. No, but, yeah. but, but here's yeah. I <laughs> no, mean, again, <laughs> again, like like it's an idea. It's an idea, right? That never really needed to be explained. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think. I don't they, they, think they try to do too much science, which they they did like fake science. Yeah, they like did the, fake science. They were like, okay, let's imagine that these rings are like CERN particle accelerators. Yeah, and they just go faster and faster, and they break down reality, man. Magic becomes science, but science is like stupid science. Like, oh, if yeah, we could just yeah. put the if we could just put this light in a circle, it would zoom around really fast at the speed of light and go faster and faster, and that would make even more power. It'd be like a self-perpetuating motion machine. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, why don't you just say that these rings have an inherent power? I mean, 
I don't know. To, yeah, to, yeah, to, or like, to articulate yeah. the science behind it, it sounded so dumb because the science wasn't real. And so, right, so right. therefore it was like, it just sounded. But that's what I'm saying. Like, but it's, it's like, again, the, the, the ideas like, okay, maybe while not like they had to have some kind of foundational idea, right? Which the foundational idea of creating the rings was not, I mean, it happens, right? It's like, you know, it's, Tolkien lore, right? Yeah. Um, the reason behind the rings actually is not terrible either. You know what I'm talking about? Like the idea of like, well, we need to make, you know, some, you know, these rings to protect, you know, to like preserve, you know, Middle Earth or, or you know, right. the Elvish kingdom. I mean, it's like... But, but, but... The idea that like it has to be tied in with Mithril is is d- stupid. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, right? Like that whole like, or, or, you know, it's like it was they they had to overly complicate everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everything's yeah. an overcomplication in order to make eight episodes out of something that could have just been done in one or two. It seems like I don't know. It, they, but, they, they they the rings are like uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Like when you add it up, it's about like ten hours or whatever. So I mean, right? But it but it's a it's a substantial piece of work. This right. is like they're they're not they're not saying anything that's like really that really feels substantial. It just feels like a bunch of bad excuses for every, yeah. everyone's action seems like a bad excuse well, instead I mean, of yeah. like an actual story. But, but again, this goes back to like what, what our second or third episode that we were talking about the second or third episode where we're like, there just seems like a lot of like coincidence that, yeah. you know, coincidental things that have never fully explained. Like they never was fully explained what uh, Sauron was doing in the middle of the Sundering Sea it was right. fully explained how he picked up Gladriel. Like, I mean, he could have, like, you know, said, "Hey, I was out in the Sundering Sea because I was following you because I needed to get to Numenor." You know, like I, I, I fabricated this whole thing. You know, right. in order to, you yeah, know, I think they they implied that it was like he was scheming about this whole ally, alliance with Gladriel all along. But of course, that's ridiculous because. How would he have known that she was going to jump that ship and be in the middle of the ocean? That, that's what I'm saying. It's it's dumb. And like, what is he doing in the middle of the ocean? You know, I mean, the whole idea that that I mean, maybe he was trying to find uh, Numenor. You know, maybe he was mm, like. I, I I think that's given them too much credit. <laughs> the writers is oh, probably know, just but, like, oh, she needs to find uh, Sa- Halbrand Sauron. Uh, I know they could just meet each other randomly, yeah, like in they, the supermarket. Like, yeah, I know. It's like, like it's they bump not. Into there's each not other. any real justification. It, it's not like a real story that has real like agency. Look, you know? I would. I mean, honestly, I would. I would. I would have given it more of a pass, right? Mm. If if Sauron was already a blacksmith in Numenor and they picked up Galadriel like without any you know and she's doing her Galadriel shit on the on the boat. That would have been much better if in swimming across the ocean she lands in Numenor. You know, halfway across the ocean. She's or, you know, or she's, Elendil picks her up or whatever. picks her up. And then and then Sauron is, you know, after being defeated in the war where Morgoth fell, he could just be like, okay, I need to kind of blend in society, get my act together, build slowly my, my new power, and just, like, be this lowly, lowly blacksmith in Numenor. Yeah, yeah. Or anywhere. And yeah, just like, I oh, mean, but- we need a blacksmith. And, oh, hey, who are you? Oh, I've, I've come. I need to get my sh- my horses reshod. Galadriel right. will be like, I I love my horse. I need to get it reshod. And, and, and Halbrand looks at this horseshoe and be like, it's not right. It needs to be fully closed, like, fully closed. horseshoe. But... Ring. But do you understand? Like the thing is, though, is like, like you could explain away, like, 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 th- th- like, like if Halbrand met Galadriel in Numenor, you could explain away, like the coincidental nature of their meeting, because it would be like, oh, like a new opportunity for me, Sauron, mm. to like make it over to Middle Earth. Here's someone who wants to get back to Middle Earth. Mm-hmm. I can help her. Get mm-hmm. back to Middle Earth. You could explain that whole right. like I will like he could be the one. I'm willing to steal a boat for you, girl. You know. Yeah, people who are who have amazing powers, like a Sauron or a Galadriel, they're not normal, right? In, according to the books, like these are right. powerful beings. So, in a big population like in Numenor, 
these two people are gonna hear about each other or run into each other at some level even if even if sauron is like disguising himself as a blacksmith you know right. he'll distinguish himself somehow and he'll hear about galadriel this new person that was shipwrecked on the island and they'll end up meeting right and right, that right. will and, make and, much more sense because it's like cream rises to the top. You have the f- powerful people are going to end up like recognizing them and cra- each other in a crowded room. Right. And that's but, how they come together. And so that makes sense. But to have them meet randomly in the middle, the middle of, the of nowhere, yeah. it doesn't make sense. But that would, like I said, like the, the idea that, that, that Sauron would, would, would like Gladwell lands, everyone, like the whole aisle would be buzz, like, oh my gosh, we found an elf. What, uh, what are we, uh, what are we going to do with her? And then, and then uh, you know, Sauron's like, what, an elf? I'm going to go. Ch- oh, damn, that's Galadriel. Because, like, he would ha- right. have to know who sh- she is. You know what I'm talking about? He would make it his business to find out, I mean, like, but who he, is this elf? And then, he, therefore. He, he, fought her, he fought her brother. I mean, they, yeah. I mean, Galadriel would be known, I think. By, like, she. I mean, she's a, in, in, she was in a yeah. war with, the, you know, Melkor, you know, all that stuff. But the point is, is it would have made way more sense and it would have like not changed the fact that they would form an alliance and they end up in middle earth. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And then they end up We're in giving them way or... too many good ideas that they I know. We should, will we never should use. Totally write this thing. <laughs> anyway but yeah so yeah we're like we're rewriting their damn story like okay that's five five bucks <laughs> five bucks please five dollars my ideas anyway no, that, so. that was clearly a better idea than what they provided their their idea was super problematic yeah yeah <laughs>